Hello and welcome to a new edition of Crack and Cryptic. Um, today what I've done is I've typed in the most difficult killer Sudoku from last week's uh, Daily Telegraphs um, into, into my software here so that we can have a go at it and see how difficult it is. Um, I do this partly for my own interest just to see whether these puzzles are easier or harder than the ones that appear in the Times. Um, and the only way really to tell is to is to try and see. Um, so what I'm going to do quickly is just pause the video and fill in the obvious um, candidates, and then we'll we'll have a look at how difficult the puzzle looks from there. Okay, so not many givens here, but um, we can immediately see using our rule of 45 that there's a uh, there's a couple of cells we can fill in. Let's have a look at box A at the top here. So we've got 19 and 21, so that's 40. So this cell must be a 5, so let's fill that in. And then that means that these two cells add to 7. And you can actually see we've got an interesting configuration in this box because we've got um, three sets of uh, two cells, all of which add up to 7. So we know that they're going to be 3, 4, 2, 5 and 1, 6 in, in some combination. We also know that this therefore must be an 8, so let's put that in. And then looking at the uh, bottom right, 3x3, three three, here we, we can see this needs to be a 1 in order to make this box add up to 45. And that's quite helpful in the sense that this 18 box now is uh, forced to be 8-9 in some combination. Um, and that means that this, this box is forced to be a 7, this is forced to be an 8. And you can also see in this box here, that we now have 16, 25, uh, 25, 42. So this has to be a 3 in order to make this, this box add to 45. So far, my assessment would be that this is, uh, this feels easier than a times deadly Sudoku, but maybe we've just got, got it on an easy day. Um, now, here, a good tip again is to try and use the, um, numbers you already have. So we've got a 7 in one of these two cells. We have a 7 here, so we need to put a 7 in one of these three cells. We can see that there's only one place that can be, and that's here, which means this has to be a 2. Um, and again, now this this uh, this 7 box has only one combination that works now. It can only be 1-6, um, because we've already taken up the 2-5 and the 3, 4 option. Uh, and again, this must be 4, 5, because they're the only numbers left. Okay, it's uh, slightly uh, trickier, but still uh, well within the sorts of skills we've discussed so far in this series. We can now isolate the value of this box here simply by summing all of the boxes contained completely within these two 3x3 three three boxes and then this box will be uh, the difference between all these boxes and 90 which is 45 times 2. I think these boxes sum to 88 is that so that would mean that this has to be a 2 so hopefully that's right um, therefore this must be a 5 um, and in fact now this 8 has only one possibility because 1, 7 it can't be, 3, 5 it can't be, so it can only be 2, 6, and we can see we've already got 6s here, so um, that's now forced this, and again we're now going to be able to isolate the value of, of this cell, because we have 20 here, 28 plus 16 is 44, so this must be a 1, and this must be an 8. this must be a 1, and this must be a 6, and this must be a 3. Yeah, so this 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 puzzle feels uh, a lot easier. So if you're keen on hard killer Sudoku, so like really tough killer Sudokus, I think you definitely need to be looking at the Times puzzle on Saturday. Um, and I think Friday as well they do a deadly. Um, and the deadly Times killer Sudoku feels to me, just on the basis of my sample size of one <laughs> from, the, from the Telegraph, which is probably a bit unfair, but it, it feels, um, this, this certainly feels easier. 
Um, okay, this is 2.5, it's the only possibility. Let's note that. So, this must be a 9. So I, I think I'll do the rest of this to music in case any of you are really interested in any of the any of the steps from here on out. But I I, I don't think um, this is going to be too taxing for anybody watching this video. Um, so we'll see you again tomorrow for a, a review of the Times crossword. I think Mark's going to be doing that. So um, yeah, see you then.